There is a strong belief that life exists elsewhere in the universe, likely intelligent life, given the overwhelming odds in favor of its existence. Recent disclosures have sparked renewed interest and wonder among researchers and space enthusiasts alike. Bill Nye, a prominent science communicator, caused a stir when he revealed that Voyager 1 had identified 300 massive objects in space. This revelation has not only captivated our imaginations but also raised significant questions. What are these objects, and where do they originate? For nearly five decades, the Voyager missions have provided some of the earliest and most astonishing views of our solar system. Remarkably, these missions were not expected to last long. In the 1970s, Michael Minovich proposed a revolutionary idea that a spacecraft could use a planet's gravity to propel itself deeper into the solar system. Initially designed for just five years, the Voyager missions have far exceeded those expectations. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, launched just weeks apart in the summer of 1977, were originally tasked with exploring Jupiter and Saturn. They successfully accomplished this mission, capturing detailed studies of these gas giants. But they didn't stop there. Voyager 2 went on to make the first close-up observations of Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989. This series of flybys earned the mission the nickname Voyager Grand Tour. Now, 46 years later, both Voyager spacecraft continue their journey, gathering crucial scientific data from the far reaches of the universe. In a pivotal announcement in 2013, NASA confirmed that Voyager 1 had officially entered interstellar space, a region beyond the influence of the solar wind and the sun's magnetic field. This transition is akin to moving from a bustling solar system to a tranquil, star-filled wilderness. The Voyager story continued in 2018 when Voyager 2 also entered this vast expanse, now approximately 17.7 billion kilometers from the sun. Notably, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are the only spacecraft to have ventured into interstellar space. These pioneering probes have been studying how the interstellar medium interacts with the solar wind emitted by our sun. They have served as our primary source of information regarding the heliosphere, a protective bubble surrounding our solar system, shaped and altered by the solar wind, a continuous flow of charged particles from the sun. The data from Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 converge at the heliopause, the official boundary of our solar system, marking the transition from the solar wind to the vast expanse of interstellar space. NASA's Voyager missions have provided vital insights into interstellar space. One significant discovery is that cosmic rays, mysterious high-energy particles, are four times more intense beyond the heliopause compared to within the protective region of the heliosphere. This contrast is reminiscent of the calmness of a backyard compared to the noise of a busy street. However, there's more to this cosmic narrative. NASA specialists did not stop with Voyager's discoveries. They have integrated data from subsequent missions with Voyager's observations to create a comprehensive picture of our Sun and its complex interactions with surrounding interstellar space. In a remarkable feat last year, NASA researchers revealed that Voyager 1 had detected a low-frequency hum that matched the vibrations identified in small amounts of gas drifting in the vast void of interstellar space. Nikki Fox, the head of NASA's heliophysics division, emphasized the importance of the Voyager missions, stating that they have been crucial in enhancing our understanding of the Sun and its effects in ways that no other spacecraft could. Both Voyager probes rely on a power system fueled by plutonium, but as this plutonium ages, it generates less heat, causing the spacecraft to lose power. Faced with this cosmic challenge, NASA has had to make difficult decisions, including shutting down non-essential systems and even some components previously considered vital. Remarkably, despite these challenges, all five scientific instruments on the spacecraft have continued to function effectively since 2019, defying expectations. NASA scientists are puzzled by how the Voyagers continue to operate in temperatures that would typically freeze other spacecraft. The legacy of these brave space pioneers continues to unfold, adding yet another layer of wonder to their enduring journey through the outer reaches of our solar system. In the vastness of space, NASA's Voyager probes are bravely facing unique challenges as they venture into interstellar space. These iconic spacecraft which began their journey in the 1970s operate with a mere 70 kilobytes of memory. Yes, just 70 kilobytes. Despite these technological constraints, 
NASA has successfully maintained the functionality of these far-flung pioneers. Imagine the complexity of sending software updates across astronomical distances to ensure their continued operation. It's akin to providing cosmic support. As they traverse the immense darkness of space, billions of miles away from Earth, the Voyager probes have crossed monumental thresholds, offering humanity valuable insights into the mysteries of our solar system. We should take a moment to appreciate these space explorers, which are now bidding farewell to our solar neighborhood as they drift eternally among the stars. Each Voyager probe is roughly the size and weight of a small car, embodying the spirit of 1970s space exploration. While their computing systems may not match today's advanced technology, and their analog cameras might seem rudimentary compared to modern standards, they have left an indelible mark on every celestial body they encounter. Through the Voyager missions, we have gleaned captivating information about Jupiter. This gas giant is not just a tranquil behemoth. It is a planet of extremes, with ferocious storms, a dazzling aurora at its north pole, and intricate rings that are more complex than once imagined. Similarly, Saturn surprised us with its rings, which were previously thought to be sparse and simple but were found to contain countless intricate loops and intertwined structures that defied expert expectations. The discovery of active volcanoes, previously believed to be exclusive to Earth, on Jupiter's moon Io and Neptune's moon Triton added to the intrigue. On Triton, nitrogen geysers erupt at temperatures just above absolute zero, further enhancing the mystery. Perhaps the most fascinating discoveries involve the potential for extraterrestrial life. Two of Jupiter's moons, Europa and Saturn's Enceladus, appear to harbor vast salty oceans beneath their icy crusts. These hidden seas could potentially support living organisms, making these moons prime candidates for further exploration. The Voyager mission culminated in a poignant farewell to our solar system in the mid-1990s when the spacecraft captured a photograph of our solar neighborhood, including Earth. This idea was proposed by Carl Sagan, a pivotal figure in the Voyager imaging team and the visionary behind the pale blue dot concept. Inspired by the iconic Earthrise photos from the Apollo program, especially one taken during Apollo 17, Sagan aimed to provide a fresh perspective, showing Earth from a distance 100,000 times greater than what we were accustomed to. He believed such an image would help us appreciate our place in the cosmos, echoing ancient philosophers who viewed Earth as a tiny speck in the vast universe. This perspective had never been visually represented until that moment. Fast forward to August 25, 2012, when Voyager 1 made history by entering the interstellar medium, an astonishing 11 billion miles from the Sun remarkably, it continues to send vital data back to Earth. Its twin, Voyager 2, joined this interstellar journey in 2018. Both spacecraft are now so far away that it takes approximately 22.5 hours for a radio signal traveling at the speed of light to reach Voyager 1 from Earth, while Voyager 2 requires nearly 19 hours for a one-way transmission. These courageous probes are now several light seconds away, with NASA's Deep Space Network, comprising three tracking facilities around the globe, ensuring ongoing communication, even as the Earth rotates. As our spacecraft journey further into the universe, their signals become increasingly faint. The cacophony of signals from radios, televisions, cell phones, and other sources on Earth makes it challenging to capture these weak transmissions. Yet, despite their diminished strength, these signals align with astronomers' expectations as the probes explore the interstellar regions of their mission. The Voyager mission, a monumental scientific endeavor involving around 10,000 personnel, is considered one of humanity's most significant explorations. Remarkably, it almost didn't happen. The mission's success can be attributed to a serendipitous discovery in celestial mechanics by Michael Minovich, who realized that spacecraft could gain speed from planetary gravity assists to escape the sun's influence. Building on this, Gary Flandro demonstrated that probes launched in the late 1970s and early 1980s could use an optimal alignment of outer planets for gravitational boosts allowing for a much faster trip to Neptune than previously anticipated. NASA seized this opportunity, but budget constraints limited the mission to visits to Jupiter and Saturn, rather than an extensive tour of the outer solar system. Despite these limitations, the Voyager mission still represented a $4 billion investment. The twin spacecraft were equipped with advanced instruments, 
including cameras, spectrometers, sensors, and magnetometers, all powered by radioisotope thermoelectric generators. Initially expected to operate for about five years, they have far exceeded expectations, embarking on an extraordinary journey that blends fantasy and science. A standout feature of each Voyager probe is the golden record they carry, containing sounds and images of Earth, designed as a message to potential extraterrestrial life. This record symbolizes our profound curiosity about the universe and reflects our desire to understand our place within it. The discoveries made by the Voyagers extended beyond our solar system, providing insights into the sun, its solar wind, and the protective heliosphere it generates. NASA's ongoing efforts to maintain the spacecraft involve sending updates across vast distances using assembly language and pseudocode, ensuring their continued operation. The Voyager missions have also inspired subsequent space missions, such as Galileo, Juno, and Cassini, and have propelled investigations into exoplanets. Even today, the Voyagers are still communicating with NASA's deep space network. Though the spacecraft may become inactive during the 2020s, their journey through space will continue. In about 300 years they will enter the Oort cloud and, in approximately 30,000 years, will exit the solar system to traverse the Milky Way for eons. Meanwhile, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope continues to unveil astonishing discoveries, such as capturing the remarkable light patterns of the distant spiral galaxy MCG 0112-414. The extraordinary light emissions from this galaxy provide new insights into astrophysics and showcase Hubble's significant contributions to our understanding of the universe. The heliopause, which serves as a boundary between the Sun's influence and interstellar space, is not static. It is constantly shifting and creating unusual angles that leave scientists astonished and puzzled. The concept of a changing heliopause is not entirely new. For the past decade, researchers have been using data from Voyager 1, Voyager 2, and NASA's interstellar boundary explorer, IBEX, to observe the heliopause tendency to change. These spacecraft are incredibly valuable as they provide direct measurements of these vast boundaries. Dr. Eric J. Zern, a space physicist at Princeton University, shared some intriguing insights via email. He mentioned that IBEX is contributing crucial data that will help scientists better predict future changes in the heliopause. What's particularly fascinating is that recent studies have challenged our previous understanding of this boundary. In 2014, researchers observed an unusual increase in energetic particles, suggesting anomalies in the heliopause. However, these findings did not align with existing models, presenting what seemed to be an unexpected twist in the narrative. Moreover, scientists noted significant shifts in the heliopause position shortly after analyzing data from Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. This movement might explain why these two spacecraft entered interstellar space in 2012 and 2018, respectively, with a notable gap between their journeys. These unexpected behaviors are not just perplexing. They contradict what we previously believed about the heliopause. A recent article in Nature Astronomy referred to these discrepancies as the entry points, indicating that they are baffling and may spark debate among established researchers. However, rest assured, the search for answers continues. Scientists are eager to learn more from NASA's upcoming interstellar mapping and acceleration probe, set to launch in 2025. This innovative satellite promises to reveal more secrets about the outer edges of our solar system. Until then, we can ponder the mysteries waiting for us beyond the heliopause. In May 2023, Voyager 1 experienced an unusual event during its routine operations. The component responsible for controlling its high-gain antenna, known as the Attitude Control System, ACS, began transmitting confusing data. Instead of the usual reports on the spacecraft's health and status, it appeared as if Voyager 1 was struggling to communicate, similar to how a person might have difficulty speaking due to a condition like aphasia. From our perspective on Earth, it seemed that Voyager 1 was encountering electronic confusion, with the data it sent back appearing erratic or lacking coherence. Interestingly, despite these unusual reports, Voyager 1 was functioning normally. The radio signals remained strong and stable. It was still able to communicate effectively with Earth, contrary to what the ACS indicated, which only added to the intrigue. 
the scientific instruments on board continued their operations without any issues, unaware of the anomaly occurring within the ACS. Furthermore, the spacecraft's fault protection system, designed to respond to malfunctions by placing the spacecraft in a safe mode, was not triggered by this incident. Fortunately, NASA quickly identified the issue, discovering that the ACS was using a computer that had been inactive for a long time. The solution was straightforward. A command was issued to switch to the operational computer for data transmission. However, the original cause of the ACS unusual behavior remains a mystery. NASA speculated that an erroneous command from another onboard computer might have triggered the anomaly. While this event did not pose a significant risk to Voyager 1's safety, NASA is actively investigating to prevent similar occurrences in the future. Voyager 1 has been exploring interstellar space for over a decade, beyond the protective magnetic field of the Sun. This magnetic shield, akin to Earth's magnetic field, protects the spacecraft from cosmic rays and other space radiation, acting like an astronomical suit of armor. In terms of technology, just as Earth's computers face challenges from high-energy particles and solar radiation, the onboard computers of Voyager 1 are also subject to cosmic obstacles. Occasionally, energetic particles can interact with microchips, leading to minor memory errors that accumulate over time. Susan Dodd, the project manager overseeing both Voyager 1 and 2, provides valuable insight into these challenges. She notes that encountering such mysteries is part of the norm at this stage of the Voyager mission. These spacecraft have embarked on an extraordinary journey spanning nearly 50 years, far exceeding their initial mission parameters. Their extended mission is significant as they navigate interstellar space, a region filled with high levels of radiation, a domain no spacecraft has explored before. Nearly 50 years have passed since Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 launched on their remarkable voyage and they have traversed vast distances.